Hi, my name is Dylan Hong, and today we're going to be talking about these things. A little bit ago, this company named Skinit reached out to me, and they do a lot of skins and cases and things like that. But the thing that really caught my eye was the fact that they do custom printed both skins and cases. And so I felt like I had to take a look. So first I'm going to show how I was able to actually get my images onto the skins and cases and show the steps that I use to design my own. And then I'll show the application and then I'll go in and talk about how the skins and cases feel and have fit. First thing of note, this company has a bunch of different branded like sports team superheroes all that sort of stuff skins and cases and if you want to check out their website i'll leave it down below um, they also have an amazon storefront page if you're not looking to do custom stuff and i'll also leave that in the description down below when you're looking at the custom skin design it's pretty clear that this is not meant to be a power tool um, for like pro users or actual designers but I was able to like find a way to make it that for me. The most common use case is if you have a picture that you think is really cool, or there's already some sort of template or just like big wallpaper-ish sort of image that you want to get onto any video game console, controllers, phones, whatever, you can just pretty easily slap it on and most of the designs look pretty good. It's not too difficult to get something that looks good from this easy designer. So this part was generally easy unless you're trying to do something like me where you actually are designing the skin template and then trying to get that onto a product. You know, something that you're using graphics for or something that needs a little more exact alignment. Those tools didn't really exist in this design your own skin um, user interface. So I had to eyeball a lot of things, but in the end I was able to make it work. If they were to update the service, I think that there's a bit of a ways to go with the create your own skin. It's good for now for a lot of the lower end um, and easier sort of just drag and drop skin creativity. But I do think it's really cool to be able to print your own designs and get it on a solid case as well as a skin for any device you have. So after that, I waited five to seven days. I can't really remember, but my cases and skins got here in the mail and then I was able to apply them. The application process is this sort of like letter step-by-step -step thing. It doesn't tell you how to do it other than which parts should go on first, um, but I don't think that's really an issue. The skins were easy to put on and off if I didn't get the alignment perfectly right the first time, so um, it's pretty straightforward. Did take a while. The Nintendo Switch one was pretty intricate. There, there are a lot of different surfaces especially because there's the dock, the console, and then also the controllers. And that took me like 30 minutes, but the MacBook Pro one only took me like four or five minutes. The cutouts were pretty precise and it was easy enough to just tell where things were supposed to go. Uh, make sure you clean your devices beforehand. You don't want any dirt or dust and stuff underneath that could cause bubbles. Um, I live in a pretty dusty house, so there were some things that slipped through the cracks, but other than that, they look pretty good. The custom skins have this sort of default smooth glossy feel and then there are other skins that have you know, textures on their website that you can check out. I got this sort of brushed steel looking skin for my MacBook and I really like it. It looks good. There's a little bit uh, extra that could have been aligned on the top of the MacBook. Uh, it doesn't completely stretch out to every corner but that's not something that I really notice and I don't think it's a particularly bad eyesore or anything like that. I chose the light phone case, but there are different types of phone cases with varying levels of protection, as well as a skin that you could have custom done for your phone. The print on the case looks pretty good. I, it's not as crisp as maybe it could have been, but I don't think that you know, you'll generally recognize that. It doesn't come off as cloudy or anything, but if you, you know, take a good hard look and try to view it like you're looking for pixels, you'll definitely see some blurring around the edges. So when you're looking at the front, the blue color is also supposed to completely line the front, and it does for the most part, but if you peek at it from an angle, you can see parts that were just slightly missed from their printing process. But this was only seen on the phone and the skins are just fine. The company skin also wanted me to point out that there are AirPod skins and different types of products for all different types of electronics and gadgets. So if you're at all interested, I would just check them out. The price for quality wasn't too bad. I know you can get skins from anywhere from like, I think 15 to 20 plus dollars. And this phone case was about $40. And I would normally say that a phone case that's mostly just hard plastic isn't gonna be worth $40. 
But if you are someone like me, a small creator who's trying to, you know, make a brand or just have a gift idea that you want to be printed on a phone case, it's a pretty solid hard phone case. And it's really cool that it has my own custom design. And I think that's really the main value of Skinit. They don't have, you know, the name recognition of cases uh, like the other big players, Otterbox, Lifeproof, Spec. But they do have a really ridiculously large library of pre-designed skins and pretty cool cases. And this was a really easy and interesting process to get my own design on something that is physical, something that I could use and hold. One thing about the Nintendo Switch skin is that I found when I was playing in handheld mode, my hands felt a little sweatier. And I think that's because the, the surface is very glossy. And so, as weird as this sounds, I think the soft touch plastic normally does a better job of either, you know, dissipating or spreading out any moisture, and you really feel sweaty hands with the Nintendo Switch skin. That's just something to keep in mind depending on how sweaty of hands you have and how much you play in handheld mode. Overall, I thought the surface was a really cool idea. The skins and cases are pretty good quality, and I don't have any major complaints about them, and I think this is just a really interesting space and way to sort of get into the skin market. You know, there's a lot of big competition, especially on YouTube, and this is definitely a good way to differentiate the company. My name is Dylan Hong, this has been Dylan Hong Tech. Like and subscribe for some more tech goodness, and thanks for watching.